So all week long, we have been introducing you to the top five finalists for this year's Florida Blue Duval County Teacher of the Year. It has been a journey. And today's teacher, Leslie White, is making a difference at the Leadership Academies at Eugene Butler. So we have a video. Last month, the Prize Patrol stopped by her classroom to give her the exciting news that she was a finalist. Take a look. Oh, no! Oh, no sorry. Oh, my we're going to completely disrupt your class. Okay! join us in congratulating her because she is one of the top five teachers in Duval County. Oh my God. Oh, I love it. You said, I know why you're here. And look at the kids. They are so excited. So joining me now, Leslie White, who teaches at Butler, is here today. You were one of those five finalists. This is a big deal. It Sounds is. like you know that, though. Yeah, I'm really excited about it. It was not what I was expecting. Um, I went ahead and applied for it. I was encouraged by some of my mentors that I've been teaching with for years. And... I just kept getting notifications that I was going to the next, next round. round. Yeah. Right, you just never really know. Yeah. I think the, the beautiful thing about teaching is you never really know your full impact, sometimes until years later when those kids come back and they're like, this is what you did for me. Yeah. And you teach science and biology. Those are tricky, difficult yeah. courses sometimes. Yeah. What, what do you do to keep it fun and interesting? Um, I like to use a lot of music. Um, science is something that I'm very passionate about. Before I came a, became a teacher, um, I did a couple of years of medical school. I worked in research labs, so it's something that I really love. Um, and when I got an opportunity to share that with children, I tried to bring it down to their level because I remember studying and um, my professors were not the most exciting. And I remember having to make it my own yeah. in my own personal time. So I try to break those things down, use music. Um, as you probably saw, that I'm pretty um, explosive personality. And I try to make it as fun as possible so they can understand it and they can achieve those standards. You know, we talk a lot about STEM and women not mm -hmm. being involved and African-American yeah. women in general. So you really are kind of rare. You're a unicorn probably in a sense. I'm sure the kids also relate to you because of that as well because you look like them. And then they're like, oh, if you can do it, I can too. Absolutely. I remember um, when I was getting my master's degree, when they were asking me, like, where do you want to teach? Where do you see yourself? And I said, I want to be an urban educator mm -hmm. because I feel like a lot of times those students do not get to see the best in front of them. And I'm saying, they're saying you have all this experience and all this knowledge. You should be going, you should be teaching at this school or this school. Well, why, why, not, why not here? Why not these yeah. kids? Why don't they get the opportunity to have someone with the experience, the expertise that looks like them? Because I didn't see that when I was growing yeah. up. So that's really important to me. And it makes a, such a big it difference. Does. What do you think it was that made you the finalist? What personality trait do you think really resonated? I really don't know. Um, I do have a very bubbly personality. Um, I have a sense of humor. And I know what I'm talking about. Right. Um, I don't <laughs> want to say that in a braggadocious no. way. But um, I make it a personal note to be an expert at what I do. And But when I go in front of these kids, I want to make sure that I know what I'm talking about. And, and also not being afraid to tell them I don't know. Like, I don't know the answer to that, but I'm going to look that up tonight. Or you look it up tonight, yeah. and we'll talk about it tomorrow. So I like to know what I'm talking about. I like to be the expert. I like to be experienced. And I think those things coupled together made me yeah. stand out. That's your opinion. We'll hear the students' opinion, because I love the Eddie Awards. Your students are going to come. You know how this goes yeah. on stage. And they've written some beautiful things about you, and they're going to share um, what you have done for them. And that's yeah. such a tearful moment, because it's so they're so transparent. And uh, it is just a beautiful, beautiful evening. So congratulations. Thank you. you look like you're halfway there. You already got your sparkles on. I know. I'm going to have to step up my outfit yes. <laughs> as the MC. Yeah. Congratulations, Thank Leslie. You so, so much. proud of you and what you're doing in our Thank schools. Thank you. All right, so this year's Eddie Awards will take place again this Friday, January 17th at the Hyatt Regency downtown. It is a sight to see. We have so much fun, and it showcases our teachers and our young people. They are part of this program every step of the way. So tomorrow at 8.15, we will be taking a look at another candidate, the fourth candidate of the week, Lena Hall, who teaches at Rains High School. So we hope you're enjoying this, and you'll watch.